The Grand Isle Tarpon Rodeo will bring fishermen and friends to the island for the oldest fishing tournament in the United States. It's getting started next week, and we've got Jefferson Parish Councilman Ricky Templet on the line with details to reel you in. Good morning, Mr. Templet. And good morning. And look, it's great to be on this morning, you know, for Grand Isle and the coast without a hurricane threatening us today. So <laughs> Exactly. You know. Right. Hopefully, you know, everything's going to go great next week. You know, last year, the Tarpon Rodeo had to be canceled because of the pandemic, of course. So I would assume you guys are going to really be doing it up big this year. Well, you know, just like everything else in Jefferson Parish and the surrounding area, we're excited to bring events back and very excited to bring back the Tarpon Rodeo. Uh, it's one of the oldest saltwater fishing tournaments in the country, and we're glad to be able to create and continue that tradition. Do you know how many fishermen will be participating yet? No, but I'm going to tell you, uh, as far as on Facebook and emails and, and texts that we're getting, it seems like we're going to wind up having a record crowd, just like kind of any other event in the area is having, you know, uh, with opportunities to get out and be a lot, be about and look, look alive. Yeah, people are just so anxious to get out of their houses and, you know, go out with their friends and do something fun again. And that's right. what's so great about this tournament. You don't have to be a fisherman to get out on the water and participate. There are so many activities kind of surrounding the weekend's events. Can you talk about, you know, the live entertainment, the different things that people will be able to participate in there uh, for the Tarpon Rodeo? Well, well, let me just say this. You know, we have a lot of events that take place with the Tarpon Rodeo, and it starts on the 22nd. I mean, and uh, look, we actually have crab racing for the kids. You come out on that Saturday, Friday and Saturday crab racing and some of the exciting moments for children through the event because multiple crab races take place. You know, we have music three nights in a row, you know, uh, great music, great lineup. You know, we have, uh, you know, shorts in December. We have the Louisiana Spice on Friday night, as well as we have the Wise Guys on Saturday night. Uh, some of the great music, some of the best food you're going to have. And look, come on out and show, enjoy the Gulf Coast of Louisiana and fishing paradise of our country. Well, you know, that's the thing. It's such a great opportunity to really showcase Grand Isle. Um, it's a great vacation spot. You know, if you want to just go down to the beach for a day. Last year with COVID, you know, I know that a lot of the places on the island kind of suffer, didn't have the tourism that they would have typically had. So it really is an opportunity to showcase the island. And you're absolutely right. You know, the island is the last inhabited barrier island in the state of Louisiana. It was about 1,500 uh, residents that lived there. But during the Tarpon Rodeo in history, it has swelled to 15 to 20,000 people. So, wow. uh, and actually, each and every one of those people come back with a great time to share with their family and friends. All right, again, the Tarpon Rodeo is starting next Thursday, the 22nd, and then running through the weekend. Jefferson Parish Councilman Ricky Templet, thank you again for your time. And anytime. I thank y'all. Looking to see you out there. Absolutely. All right. Here's Shelby Latino.